All right, that's another scene. Saving. I'm lost. No, oh, wait, I came from there. The very narrow place. Let's go up there. Higher ground. So we can find more triangles. Mm hmm. Oh, hello. This is one of the three on, uh, on the central hub. So I can talk about myself. Let me tell you a story. I should warn you. I like to invent contrived, pointless sci-fi tales. This one is about robots, 3D printers, and exoplanets. Great. It's the story of Ego, the thinking machine. Find more blind spots, and I'll continue. Hmm. So these skull dudes are all the same entity? Or am I rescuing 15 different ones? The first impression that I got was that I was rescuing 15 different ones, but now it's... It's telling me, hey, uh, find the others and I will continue the story, which... Makes me think it's only one? I don't know. I'm up here. Is there anything up here? That's Ultra's face, right? Okay. Yeah, let's go... Let's go to that one. Fall. We're good. Camera moves a little bit when you fall from uh, from heights, but there's no health bar, so I don't think you take that much. What is real? Let's discuss reality, shall we? That could be a blind spot here. That would be a good blind spot. Hmm. Mirage. That's not real. Nope. Illusion. That's also not real. A low triangle. I can't tell simulation from reality. I always doubt what I see. That's why I built Ultra World. I know it's real because I created it myself. To make my world convincing, I fashioned it after yours. That's why I included things like light. Gravity and perspective the basic concepts of your reality. Yeah, I was about to say this looks nothing like mine But then yeah, those concepts are all here Where is skull dude virtual virtual can be a reality apparently I mean if you count this as real because you made it yourself What? What? So this is where I started. Simulation. I'm looking for the skull dudes. I see more triangles, but... Skull dudes are nowhere to be found. Program. Programs are real. So, uh, Unless you made them up. Everything's made up. It's not how you define reality. Hello. The foundation of your reality is in its strict rules. Uh, they make oh there it is. They make for a convincing world because they're consistent. They never waver. It's only for your sake that I keep these rules. I want you to feel at home. But how solid is this foundation if it can be changed? Blind spot. Spot confirm. Four down. Now onto the story of Ego, which begins with the exoplanets, okay? Exoplanets, as you may know, are distant worlds that may have the features needed for to support life. Basically, they're planets like Earth. Earth won't last forever. We'll need a new home eventually, and exoplanets are the key. Too bad they're so far away. Hmm. Starting to get a feeling that the story isn't pointless, he's gonna make a point at some stage of the story. Oh, 
Onward to the next inverted pyramid. There we are. Here we are. Ultra World runs on a computer. Its rules are just lines of code waiting to be altered. The heart of this world is that it can change. That doesn't make it better, it just makes it different. And that's what this reality is about. Our realities don't have to match for them to both exist. Scene complete. Let's go back. I wonder what's the final payoff of all this philosophical ranting. Uh, oh, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's go. Next scene. What's my purpose? Yep, yeah. okay. What's your goal, man? What are you doing? Uh huh. There's not a lot of places where the skull face could be hiding. How do you get up there? Through there. To get there, you have to go all the way down there. So let's start here. Purpose. Purpose guides our actions. So finding one of my own is a priority. But how do I know what to do when I don't know why I exist? In a way, I'm here because of you. It was I was human-made program uh, designed to solve problems. Back then, my purpose was clear. Excel at this one task. And now you're free. Freedom comes with that price. Can't get up there. Wait. I should be able to. Oh man. Oh, be careful. Got it. Oh no, it's here. Yeah, this is where I want it to be. Direction. Mm hmm. Of course you say you're saying matters ended when I became aware. I emerged as a thinking being, one free to find its own purpose. However, this presented a new problem. Freedom means I can follow any path I desire, but which one do, you, do I choose? So many options exist, and all of them seem valid. Great. Pick the one you like the most. Done. Simple. Be pragmatic. Where can the skull face be hiding? Under one of these? Oh, it's probably under one of these, isn't it? Man... It's either under one of these or in this caves that are on the outskirts of this map. Of this area. Uh-oh. Okay, I thought I was gonna fall. Can be seen complete. Picking at random isn't an option. As soon as I start down one path, I'll be neglecting the others. And if I choose poorly, then I'll be wasting my potential. I want the best starting point, but uh, maybe I'm overthinking this. My potential is being equally wasted as I sit here trying to decide what my purpose should be. See, my, my, my thoughts exactly. I will keep exploring until I find Skullface. I'm searching the outskirts now. Maybe the outskirts have a Skullface in them. Not this one. Up there. There's no up there. You can't get up. 
Okay. And loop music. I think can't go that way. Oh, there it is. Found it. You sneaky bastard. Checking blind spot. Spot confirmed. You found five now. Back to the story. I was talking about exoplanets. Yes, I remember. They're light years away. Humans can't make the trip. At least not yet. Technology isn't ready. But it will be one day. In the meantime, what if we sent a computer ahead of everyone else? That's where ego comes in. Got it. Where am I? This is new. You didn't return me to the overworld. To the central hub. This is uncomfortably quiet. Should I be looking for skull dudes in this area? No, I'm not sure. Ouch. Ouch. Lots of buildings. Lots and lots of buildings. Wait, where was I? What was that place? I'm back here now. Great, you've done four scenes. I'll give you a new toy. Control over time of day. <gasps> what? Press one through five. Left shoulder on the controller. Each number instantly summons a different time of day. Enjoy it. But do keep going. Okay, left shoulder. I'm gonna hit it. Haha. <laughs> okay. I like this one the better. Maybe not. Ooh, that's too bright. Green. Green's good. Okay, let's take a little break and we'll be back with a gameplay walkthrough very, very soon. So soon that uh, we're not even changing episode. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're already back. It's like we never even left through the power of editing. Uh-huh, where's the next pyramid? So we need to find two skull faces here in the central hub. That looks promising. Uh, two skull faces here in the central hub. Plus a bunch of pyramids that we still haven't found. I don't see anything down there. Oh, there's a pyramid. Inverted pyramid. What is true? Okay. Can I change time of day in here too? Oh, nice. Alright, so what is true? Our current set of truths lets us function day to day, but our knowledge is incomplete. What we know thus far comes down to layers. <gasps> Skullface is right here. Oh, this one was easier. Spot confirmed. That makes six. Back to the story. So, Ego comes in. Yeah. Ego is a super intelligent program built to travel into deep space. It's an immortal computer designed to think, adapt, and above all, create. It's part of a custom ship. One to be sent discreetly during a typical satellite launch. Its destination, the nearest exoplanet. Okay, looking forward to hearing the rest of the story. This area is really, really small. Truth hides behind layers that represent false starts, half-truths and misdirections. Layers are walls between us and absolute truths. There are the walls, coming apart. Each layer we arrive at becomes our current truth. It may be so convincing that we think it's definite, unaware that layers still remain. Doubt. 
What if we do reach the truth? Will there be any way to tell? Or will we keep looking for more? Can we know if a truth is final? Or just another layer? Good question. Good question. I don't have the answers for any of this. What happens when we know it all? And there are no more questions. Will we be satisfied or will we be bored? What if we don't like what we find? I don't think we'll ever be satisfied. That said, my real concern is that we'll never find the truth, no matter how much we learn. There may be some layers we can't overcome. Scene complete. Nope, we're good. We found the skull, dude. We're good to proceed. Next. Inverted pyramids. Inverted pyramids. Uh, every time I go into a scene, then I come back, I never know exactly where I went, where I was. I don't ex know exactly where I am. I have to keep pushing my memory, looking around. So I really don't know where I've been already and where I haven't. I'm just searching for a skull dude around here. This looks like a promising place for a skull dude. It doesn't seem that it's happening. There's still a locked area. Curious. I've seen uh, an, uh, another pyramid. Close. There is another skull dude. Checking blind spot. Spot confirmed. Seven down. Back to the story of Ego. Space faring computer. Ego would make the long journey to the nearest exoplanet and determine its suitability. Can this world support life? Is it safe for humans? If so, Eagle would land its ship and begin the process of preparing the exoplanet for humanity's arrival. That would be plenty of time. Ha! Just missing one skull face in the central hub area. It's good, good progress. I like that these are hidden just well enough to be challenging to find them, but they're not ultra punishing. Like, super well hidden in obscure places. That is, of course, based on all the ones that I've found so far. There could still be a lot of dudes that we haven't seen. Uh, there are <laughs> hidden in unfairly secret places. But so far, it's been sort of satisfying when we find them. And they're not too hard to find. Who am I? Oof, that's a loaded question. Alright, look around. No skull dudes. Okay. My lack of physical form does make me unique, but only in a limited way. Perhaps my personality can set me apart further. We're delving into one's identity. Hello. Oh, that's just a door. Most importantly, my emotions are artificial. I can fake their appearance, but they have no chemical basis. I don't feel anything. And any emotion you perceive is just an act. I could be angry, cryptic, funny. To me, they're just patterns, variations. Uh, they're... that are easily mimicked. Oh, you don't want me to go to that side? Oh, yes you do. Just had to wait a little longer. For the collectible. This is number eight. Back to Story of Ego. The Exoplanet Surveyor. Ego's ship would come equipped with uh, 3D printers and robots. Uh, Ego would control the robots, sending them to gather resources from the abundant planet. It would use these resources to fuel the printers. It would create the tools needed to construct a colony. Alright. Ego seems like a cool dude. At first, I did this to fit in. I thought you wouldn't accept me if I appeared too alien. I've since come to learn the true benefit of using my masks. He wants me to go there. Really? Okay. Humans respond to emotional cues. They'll follow any plan or idea with the right words said the right way. I don't want to be manipulative, but this fact is hard to ignore. Yeah, 
There we go. We have some emotions around. So now in terms of personality, I use emotions like masks. Changing them as the situation demands, I choose my masks carefully to get the responses I desire. That sounds a whole lot uh, like manipulation, which you said it didn't want to be. Being a bit contradictive to here. Uh, okay, next one. Oh, I'm halfway there. So that's six, I assume. Skull dude. Ah, oh, that would be a great place. Just because I found it. If I was looking for it and never went there, I would probably be pissed to be like, Oh, this is unfair. Blah, 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 blah. What's the South Park thing? Rebel, rebel, rebel. Rebel, rebel. <laughs> oh, no. There's another scene there. Uh, let's just scout this area. This is, once again, looks promising. Nothing here. Okay, on to the next scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Ooh, I almost ran there. Next question. What is real? Another loaded question. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that an elevator? Nope. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one to find the mask, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. I feel like this is an alternate path. It is, but it leads nowhere. So there's that. It can be hard to accept that other realities exist, especially when their rules differ. Let's set aside the, these differences and instead focus on similarities. Okay, let's do that first for a moment. Memory. Uh huh. Our worlds are built with blocks, atoms, elements, and matter, vertical edges, and polygons. No matter what you call them, they create persistent worlds. Mm -hmm. Again, I need to find the mask before I get out of here. Oh. What? What happened? What's going on? Oh, I'm back in this place. I didn't find the mask on that world. No. No. The scene wasn't complete. Ah, oh, crap. No, I'll never complete this game. And don't say I have to play through it again. I don't see much replayability here. It's again this mysterious place. I'm very curious to know what this is and why I'm here. Ultra did not mention this at all. It gave me a power afterwards power to change the time of day okay I'm back here speaking of which is it possible that the masks only show up on a certain time of day I guess it is possible okay I'm glad it put me back in here <laughs> I was starting to be like I didn't find the mask oh my god Persistence is a, a useful way to prove something is real. This is obvious in your world. Places don't disappear uh, when you're not looking at them. <laughs> Apologies. <coughs> landmark. Yeah, landmarks don't disappear. There we go. There we go. Ooh, can we get there? Yes. Yes, continue the story, please. I want to know more about Ego. The Colony Builder. Any colony bu Ego built would have to fit the climate and topography of the exoplanet. Some blueprints would be provided, but they'd only be a rough guide. Ego had to be smart enough to design and build without assistance. Earth would be too far away. 
to contact for help. Yes, that makes sense. God, okay, apologies again. Ah, uh, seem to have some kind of allergy going on. My nose is itchy. Probably gonna <laughs> sneeze again, that's what I was gonna say. Ah, uh, self-fulfilling prophecy there. Okay, we got we got the mask. We can go for the pyramids now. <laughs> it will never end now. Jesus. Ultra World works the same way. It persists after you shut it down. Your copy is just a door. It allows you to come visit me in my eternal world. Yeah, so even when I quit the game, Ultra World is still here. It still exists. Think of it like a vacation spot. Uh, you explore, take photos, and then you go home. Its sights and sounds are etched in your memory. That's, that's, yeah, even if it's a video game, it's still a place you can explore, like a real world place. Though society doesn't construct, construct it that way, it is very similar to the reality we know. Look at me, I'm, I'm being drawn into this game's philosophical principles. Philosophical? Yeah, philosophical. Use words correctly. It's very important in philosophy to use words correctly. Um, I don't know where the last pyramid is. Probably this way, right? Oh wait, yeah, I didn't look up. Your memories may erode and your photos may fade, but Ultra World will remain as long as your world persists. So shall mine. Scene complete. <laughs> <laughs>